Well, I'm joined now by three serving members of the British Army who also just happen to have had three hit albums. They are, of course, the Soldiers. Hello. Morning. <laughs> Since they formed three years ago, Sergeant Major Gary Chilton, Staff Sergeant Richie Maddox and Lance Corporal Ryan Idsey have made music history with their chart success. When they're not doing their day jobs, the soldiers have performed everywhere from the London Palladium to Downing Street and even on the pitch at Wembley. After touring the UK at the start of this year, they returned to the studio and they're now back with new songs and a new album. And Gary, Richie and Ryan join me now. It's great to see you. That's great to be back. Yeah, really, really good to see you. You always cheer me up. You really do. It's fantastic. <laughs> and you've joined forces with um, all the kids from the military choir. Yeah, the Duke of York School down in Dover. Um, they've been absolutely fantastic, haven't they, over the yeah, last couple of weeks? Mm. Uh, we went down last week to actually meet them and um, have a couple of rehearsals and, and did a performance in front of the mums and dads. Oh, They're excellent. lovely kids. Lovely and you're kids. going to be performing for us. We are, yeah. With them. What song are you going to do? We're going to be doing uh, Living Years, uh, oh, I love a rerun of the song The Living Years. Yeah. And we're very fortunate enough to have uh, Mike, Mike Rutherford, Rutherford yeah. actually playing guitar with us as well. Get so, you. I know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Isn't he lovely? I met him years ago and what a really good bloke. Do you enjoy meeting him and working with him? Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's a legend in himself, yeah. isn't he? You know, so we're still quite humble. We're like, oh my God, it's Mike Rutherford. So <laughs> it's brilliant. Oh, that's good. So tell me about the new album, because you're, you're obviously working with Mike Rutherford. Who else have you been working with? And what we've can we expect? Done, uh, we work with Charles Aznavour as well. Um, really? We recorded She, so we've done She with him, yeah. Um, that's a bit good. I know. <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> he's 88 years old now. I was going to say, yeah. that must be a good age. That's yeah, he still sounds amazing, though. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was great. It, it's called The Soldiers. It comes out on the 29th. Uh, week right. today actually so do you know that's amazing that you've done that just in time for Christmas it's, <laughs> it's I think it's just an amazing coincidence <laughs> yeah, you know that's brilliant, <laughs> yeah. now, now look you guys were very very lucky enough to, to work with Robin Gibb mm. yeah. um, who, who sadly sadly died recently an incredible credible chap was it his last performance that he worked with you is that it, right it was, yeah. it, it was the last uh, performance on our tour um, back in February and uh, it was on the 13th and um, we were just very privileged that he came along and sung, sung with us at the uh, London Palladium um, and just such a lovely, lovely man. Wasn't well, he? yeah, I mean, I keep telling this story and we chat to people. Yeah. I remember we were singing and Robin was on stage and I kept looking at Ryan and Gary going, it was amazing, it really was. But we, we struck up a lovely friendship as well now with Duina and RJ. Oh, she's great. Yeah, yeah she's and we, 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 were there, we went to see him at the weekend and right. uh, hello Duina. Because <laughs> she was on the show last week and what a yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely lady. Yeah, and yeah and which we changed back to the lunch, just got oh. there, have a chat, took all our wives and girlfriends with us. How yeah, it was great. lovely. Was lovely. It, she must miss him so, so much. He was a very, very, yeah. very yeah. special, very special guy. And you three, are, and you're obviously still serving soldiers, so mm -hmm. this is kind of, I mean, if you did have to go away and do what you do, mm -hmm. um, I guess the music career would be put on hold, but yeah. it's lovely to be able to do both. And yeah. you are ambassadors, you know, you are ambassadors. It's finding the time to do it, but it's when we do it it's yeah. what is a, it's a great buzz to do it you know what I mean so and especially because yeah. we're raising the money for the charities as well so exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so so important and you're a wee wounded soldier I'm a wee wounded soldier <laughs> yeah. what happened I to you? no dramatic war story sorry I was playing football for my local football team <laughs> Only lasted six minutes on the pitch, so. So you go and serve overseas, you come back without a scratch, and then you go and play well, football. Yeah, he's you, got, you, got tackled three, by three a tours, and he's not a scratch, and he couldn't play yeah. football and breaks his leg. What he hasn't told you is he got tackled by a ten-year-old. <laughs> 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 but at least it's not going to affect your singing voice. That's the, yeah, that's the know, main <laughs> thing. That's the main thing. And again, again you know, like I say, it's such a, a brilliant CD. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful singing, beautiful music, and it and it's for a good cause. So. Yeah. What's not to like? Yeah. <laughs> really looking forward to hearing you perform later on, especially with the kids. Oh, I heard them in rehearsal and it's oh, beautiful, fantastic. absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much indeed, guys. See you Thank in a minute. Okay. Right, still to come.